Indiana's new state budget will make thousands more families eligible for the On My Way pre-K program with a new grant opportunity. State House reporter Kristen Escal spoke with those who work in child care about how this will have an impact. The new state budget provides more families grants to send their four-year-olds to pre-K. It's a move that's being applauded by early childhood education advocates, though some say they would have liked to have seen the legislature do more when it comes to child care. For many families across Indiana, affording child care is a challenge. Missy Modisett sees it firsthand in rural Delaware County. It costs more to send a child to child care than it does to send a a child to Ball State for a semester. And in urban Marion County, it's a similar story. I especially think of all the single um, family households that they might be blessed with a job that um, pays a little bit more, but they still might be battling with um, a financial burden. Chelsea Diga says that's why she's excited lawmakers have expanded access to the state's On My Way pre-K program, which gives funding to low-income families of four-year-olds. Eligibility is determined by household income in relation to the federal poverty line. For example, under the current requirements, a family of four making up to $38,000 a year could receive a grant. That income threshold will jump up to $45,000 when the new budget takes effect this summer. Maureen Weber is with Early Learning Indiana. We're thrilled with the progress. Um, there is always more work to do as we make sure that all children uh, receive access to high quality early learning opportunities. Before any further expansion, Republican lawmakers say several factors need to be considered, such as capacity. State Senator Jeff Roths chairs the Senate Education Committee. And build out is, is, is a big piece of that equation. And as I mentioned, the Early Learning Advisory Council, uh, we're looking to them to bring us back some information on, on these things. State House Democrats called on Republicans to approve steps toward universal pre-K, but that's a move so far that has not been championed by Republicans. In Indianapolis, I'm Kristen Escal.